Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY, and I'm here with a little behind the scenes on how we run things here at the Toasty Bros headquarters. As you can tell, I'm here in our office. If you've seen any of our live streams, this is kind of like my live stream point of view at my desk. But what I'm gonna do is give you all behind the scenes on how we run our business. So, so for those who don't know, the basic structure of how our Toasty Bros business works is we have YouTube, we get the YouTube ad money, we get advertising money from companies directly that we work with, we get sponsorship opportunities, that kind of falls under the same umbrella we also have twitch and we also have our two other youtube channels toasty diy which you're watching right now and toasty clips which is not monetized but in the future it will be and that'll be another source of income so there's a lot of layers to this business and for us to stay organized we have to have a system that works for all of us especially during covid when we're having limited office hours and not being around nearly as much we need to have an online organization system that works very well and and i am the first to admit that i am an absolute geek when it comes to online organizations so this is a great really fun video for me. So if you're ever interested in how we run our business and how we stay organized, well, as of recently, it all circles around one thing, Trello. Trello is a board organization app. Basically, it gives you a bunch of different panels for you to organize your, well, day-to-day -day tasks or other team collaboration things. Being a team of four, we need to have one centralized location for all of us to access. And that is why we have Trello. And I will show Trello right here. This is our Trello board. Now, keep in mind, if there is anything on here that I cannot show you, I will have it blurred. But just a simple explanation on how this works. This board does give you the ability to check things like video progress, what sponsor is going to be on what video, and then we organize it in a system where we base it on what month it is. So as you can see right here, we have videos for September, videos for October, and videos for November. Now, we're going to go ahead and open up a basic template here, November 30th, because there is no planned video yet, but the sponsor has already been approved. So what we do on our calendar is we have a video right here which is open at the moment we don't have a planned video in most cases our sponsor deals are actually booked one month to two months ahead of time so we normally have a chance to well have these sponsors on a calendar before even a video idea comes to mind so for a company like gbg mall which if you guys do know is like one of our main sponsors they pay a reoccurring fee every single month to be sponsored on our channel so they automatically get their ads right here so this one right here is our gbg mall ad and this is gonna be the second one of the month so what we do in this system is let's say we come up with video idea Here's the video idea. And then now it's on the calendar for November 30th. We normally put a detailed description. This normally includes any affiliate links, anything the sponsor may want, uh, just more of a detailed list. And if it is a PC build, we normally like to go through here and start planning the idea of the PC build. So for example, we'll just say, all right, we're gonna do a build with a Ryzen 5 3600. We'll go to like Amazon, get the affiliate links, throw them in there, and start adding up the total of the price and see what kind of budget build this is going to be. That's normally how we do the planning process. Jax and I will sit together on our computers and start planning out certain videos ahead of time, order all the parts that we need, or reach out to said companies that we need hardware for. All the hardware comes in, and then we can go through our checklist here, which is the number one reason why I like Trello, is for the team collaboration aspect using this checklist. So as you can see here, we have a couple different layers here. We have the filming process process, which literally means we film the videos. Um, this right here is generating lower thirds. That is a job our, well, now graphic designer Zach does. He used to be our manager, but now he does graphic design, basically. So for those who don't know what lower thirds are, those are basically the on-screen animations that pop up in the bottom left corner when we talk about a PC part. We have introduced this very recently because it allows us to show a little bit more detail about the product we're talking about. And what Zach will do is go into the description, and if it's a PC build, he'll take every single individual spec and go through and use the templates that we have made and render out lower thirds for our video editor and then put those on the NAS in the folder that we use for video editing, which we'll probably dive into a later video and talking about our NAS and workflow. But this is more focused on how we organize everything, our day-to-day -day activities. So once Zach has done his job, he goes in here and checks, clicked, I've done the lower thirds. Once we filmed our video, click, it's filmed. So basically at this point, we're in the post-processing phase. The filming and the lower thirds are good to go. I have contemplated adding a checklist mark for when we actually have everything in our hands so we can actually start filming maybe like a pre-film uh, checklist or something uh, that's something I may add in the future but uh, for in terms of getting things up and running film and generate lower thirds at this point we have everything else basically post-processed at this point it is in the editing phase which our editor McAllister will go on our NAS start editing the video and if for whatever reason I have any notes about the filming process anything that happened that our editor needs to know maybe we messed up in a certain area that we want him to make sure not 
not to miss, we'll just tell him right here in the comments, blah, blah, blah. And I'll post a comment and at our editor McAllister right here. Boom. And then after he is done editing, what he will do is render out a copy of the video, click this as being done edited, and then I will go through and do the review process. Most of the time it's me, but sometimes Jackson and I will go through and review the videos, watch them from beginning to end, and make sure there's no major errors. If there are any errors, what we will do is go to the comments down here at McAllister and give him some review notes, which he can go back, redo, make some revisions, and then send it back to us for another review. Once it's been approved, depending on where it is in the upload schedule, we will go ahead and upload the video, add titles, metadata description, and boom, the video is live, scheduled, ready to go. Video goes live, and once it's live, you hit this little check mark, and boom, we're done. So as you can see right here, we are all the way up to September 25th. We are a little bit behind right now because Jackson is on vacation, but ideally we like to be at least like three or four videos ahead. As you can tell, we do plan out very far into the future uh, with some videos spanning across the entire month. So we like to be as ahead as possible. We can't be totally ahead all the time because of the fact that there is a chance that, well, new products release, especially in October with new Ryzen stuff potentially coming. We don't want to get too far ahead with some older parts and have videos released that just don't make sense anymore. So it's kind of a balance here that we have to do. But in terms of keeping things organized, I've absolutely loved using Trello. And believe it or not, we've been doing all this on the free version. Uh, there is a paid version that allows you to do even more. But with the free version, we've been able to get pretty much all the features we want out of it. And I've been very happy with it so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of just want to give you all behind the scenes on how we make Trello work for us. It's a program that's really powerful for things like this. There's a lot of automation built in that we don't even really touch on. We try to keep things as simple as possible. And as you can tell, it seems to work out really well for us. And it's a system that um, I'm very happy with. And I really think we're going to be using it for the foreseeable future. Maybe the paid version at some point if we find any sort of bottlenecks in the production process. But in terms of a team of four, Trello has been a great option for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick behind the scenes DIY video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and comment down below what you think. If you are somebody who's a little bit of an organizational nerd like myself, I would love to know down below what you all think of these kinds of videos. If you want any more behind the scenes coverage, let me know. I'd be happy to do it for you. Thanks again, guys. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.